Here it is again. Shot from Hamlin right there. Mm. Down he goes. Check him out. Back after this. So, obviously, Tua just, you know, got another concussion. Obviously, he dealt with that for a while. Man, what's your take? Is it time to hang it up? Should Tua retire? Or could he just keep playing? Um, let me preface this by saying this. Those who don't understand the game of football and its physicality will not understand what I'm about to say. Okay. As a kid, as a child, as a person who, who prepares to not just play this game, who prepares not to just be good at this game, who prepares not to do any other thing besides dominate this game, mm -hmm. you make an unspoken oath to this game of football. Mm. You understand what comes with playing this game of football. Yeah. You can die on this field, as we've seen people die before. God rest their soul. You understand the level of commitment that it will take for you to go and to play. It's all a risk. It's all a risk. When you're asking yourself, okay, yeah, wearing these cleats, okay, boom, wearing this visor, boom, okay, this touchdown celebration, yeah, that's all a part of the game. Mm. But I'm going to tell you another, the dark side of this game. <clears throat> Motherfucker, you could die. Yeah. Motherfucker, you can have a season-ending or a career-ending injury. We understand that. Everybody who plays this game long enough <clears throat> understand. I'm going to get – it's not even a doubt in my mind. We can pray to all guys and pray to the man above all we want to. There's a 100% not – like there's a 100% there's a fact that while playing football, you're going to get hurt. Yeah. You're going to get hurt. Now, the severity of that injury mm -hmm. is something that it's a toss up. Yeah, that's subjective. Right? My son, this past weekend, he tries to go in for the tackle. His finger gets smashed in, in the helmet. It, it's a little hangnail, right? I see him get up, and you know, as a parent, you know your son, yeah. something, something wrong. I just see him running, just holding his hand. I said, that's not a natural running motion. So I asked, I said, Chosen, what the hell wrong with you, boy? Hey, my finger. Uh, my finger. I said, well, let me see your damn hand. It's, it's like a hang there. It's like, you know, it's the, 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 got a discoloration on his finger. Ain't nothing serious. I had that same conversation. I said, son, let me, let me tell you this. Do you want to play football or not? Because you're going to get hurt. This little bullshit ass hangnail ain't got shit to do with you making a damn tackle or you not making a damn tackle. Are you hurt or are you injured? That's two different things. Mm. Now, to bring this back into to a tongue of a lower, he's injured. Now, we have to really consider a lot of different things. Not just considering from Tua's perspective, what about his wife? What about his father? What about his brother? What about his sister? What about his friend? Because that's uh, going to be somebody who's going to be able to allow him to listen. Mm. Bro, I love you, bro. I don't want to keep seeing you like this. Yeah. This is third one. Yeah. No, no, just in, in general. general yeah. I, that we, I, that's detected that we know that of. That we know of. But yeah. you have to understand this, too. One of my greatest teammates that I ever have played with, alongside with, Luke Keekley, he made a business decision. When I see Luke now, I'm like, yo, you made the right decision, bro. Yeah. He looks healthy. He looks happy. Yeah. I would hate for me to see one of my former teammates just lose it. And it's too early to tell. Luke's yeah. young. And we don't know the side effects when you're 50, God willing, 60, God willing, 70 years old. What that CTE, yeah, we, we, we joke about it sometimes. We, we, we hint towards blue tent. But, bro, this game is going to hurt you. Yeah. I'm just lucky to be able to walk around and jump around. and Yeah, I'm yeah. in my right mind. But at the same time, a lot of people aren't. Yeah. So if you ask me what I would do, I would really consider walking away. Mm. You play this game. Hold on. Let me put. Let me bring this on home. You play this game to be able to take care of your family. Yeah. Tua, you just signed a deal, bro. We got guaranteed sixty. You are. You already got. Yeah. Let's think about that. Call it lame. Call it, man. 
listen, I want to be able to play football with my sons. I want to teach my sons. Somebody asked me the other day, what's your greatest, like, what, what brings you happiness? Sunday, right? After our Sunday routine, I'm able to go to a field and play football with my kids, teaching them the fundamentals. I wasn't limping. Mm. I wasn't hurt. My shoulder wasn't hurt. I'm not there throwing dots, motherfucker. My QBR was high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was in my right mind. I was seeing straight. The sun didn't hurt my eyes. Mm -hmm. Able to really just sit back and, and, and teach a game to my sons in its most purest form. That's what it's all about. And the thing with two is like, bro, it's the thing about the concussion protocol that people aren't talking about enough is it's not like it's an ankle sprain. Yeah. It's not like it's a bum shoulder. It's not like it's an ACL or MCL. You know what I'm saying? You just wake up with these side effects. There's only one time in my life that I can really say that I had a concussion. Now, I may have may seen black dots, but it wasn't a concussion. And those who have concussions know, oh, that shit different. I forgot. Like, blanked out. Off of a hit? Just a hit. Yeah, the Atlanta Falcons hit. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, I didn't even know if I scored. Because I'm going back there and they're asking questions like, what's the day's date? I'm like, shit, blah, 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 blah. What's the, what's the score of the game? Uh, blah, 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 blah. They don't tell you if you right or wrong. So I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. What day of the week is it? <laughs> bro, it's Tuesday, duh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sunday? It's Sunday like a motherfucker. Who are we playing? Man, shit, we playing Denver. <laughs> You know, they don't take so, motherfucker sit across from you. All right. <laughs> uh, what's your mother's name? Mm. Oh, shit. Uh, shit. That ain't jazz. He's out of here, buddy. Uh, yeah. What's your coach's name? Oh, shit. Uh, that's, uh, Thomas Davis. Yeah, let me get that helmet. Yeah, give right me that there. shit. Yeah. Take the pads off. Hey, look, before, look, bro, before he took my helmet, I said, bro, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Y'all got me. Did I score? <laughs> That's the only thing I wanted to know. Because I knew I was bullshitting and he hit me. Anybody who's seen that hit, bro, I, I, my leg buckled. Yeah. And then, boom, I reaches out and I just, I'm down. I'm like, he got me. He got me. And I just wanted to pop up like fast, like shit, I'm straight. straight. And I just remember walking out of the stadium. I don't remember any other thing. Damn. It's just like spotty. And I just remember being back in the back and they was like, uh, Kevin King was the person who was just asking the question to do. They got all these names of doctors, right? Neurologists and this person and that person and everybody. Like, I'm sitting right here, like looking at three motherfuckers. And they all sitting. Kevin is asking me the questions. All right. Uh, what college did you go to? Oh, shit. I went to Westlake College. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you name me three of your teammates? Hell yeah, uh, Cecil Newton, uh, Peggy, uh, and uh, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, yeah, Cam, you're doing great. They got a uh, mean got, poker face, yeah, bruh. And, and granted, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you know. Just yeah, simple just questions. And I'm yeah. like, bro, I'm, I'm bombing these motherfuckers. I mean, I'm bombing, I mean, I'm in this. Ah, shit. Striking out. Golly. Brandon was so embarrassed because like we can laugh at it now. But I remember he was like, Kevin was a trainer. He was looking at me. He was like, oh, yeah, you was out of there, guy. <laughs> I, and I never had a concussion. But needless to say, bro, that's we got real questions to kind of uh, ask ourselves where I think two was – circle does because that's something that can really have long lasting impact. Yeah.